Welcome to Church Office Online's video tutorial presenting our new calendar feature. Before we begin, let's take a brief overview of some of the changes that have been made in your program with our new calendar feature. First of all, when you sign into your program and you come to the dashboard, you'll notice that we no longer display events and meetings in, uh, the, for the day in the church overview section but rather we've added a new tab in your, on your dashboard called Today. When you click Today, you'll be taken to a overview or a, uh, a list of those events and meetings which have been uh, posted to your calendar uh, for that given day. Uh, by clicking on any of these events or meetings, it'll give you further uh, information as far as the start and end time, as well as the description on uh, the meeting that you enter um, uh, for that particular uh, day. So um, in here the description says the focus of this meeting will be to plan the youth missions trip to Alaska. All youth workers and youth staff need to attend. Um, now uh, this is not only available here on the dashboard but when you later on uh, utilize our website plugin, you will also notice that this is available even on the month view as well. But here on the dashboard, we've included this new tab called Today, and this is where all your current events and meetings uh, will be posted. Uh, let's take a look at our calendar now. In a calendar section, we've added uh, some more calendars to the program. Uh, prior to this, uh, you would have a church calendar, events calendar, a meeting calendar, and a counseling calendar if you had a pastoral level access. Now, you also have a service calendar and a church resource calendar as well as a room calendar, uh, which will uh, indicate the, the items that you have scheduled or the rooms that you have scheduled for a particular event. Now, uh, this is uh, the new calendars that we have um, available to you and we'll talk a little bit that about that a little bit later but also we have added a couple new uh, utilities in the admin section in admin under configuration you'll notice that we have a manage rooms uh, feature also manage church resources and then we've also updated the manage services let's take a look at manage rooms first of all we've added the ability for you to be able to add rooms to your uh, events and meetings um, in fact, you'll notice when you um, schedule an event or a meeting, there is a room uh, uh, pull-down menu which will populate with whatever rooms that you add here. Now, what I've done is give you an idea about some of uh, the way this might you might want to configure this. In adult fireside room, notice if I've indicated in the description the capacity of the room. Um, and uh, <clears throat> this might be a good uh, way in, in which you can get a better handle on uh, which rooms would uh, make for a better situation for particular visiting uh, ministries or events that you might have or meetings and uh, giving you the capacity level of each room. Uh, notice that you can edit and delete any of these rooms at any time and to add an item is fairly simple. All you do is click on add a new item, put in the name, and put in the description and then click update and uh, that's all there is. Now when you have done that and you go to the calendar section and go to room calendar anytime you post a room to an event or include it it'll be included here. You can look at t today, Tuesday, May 7th. Uh, you can see which rooms are going to be used. Uh, the adult fireside room is going to be used at 9 and the boardroom is going to be used at 11 and later on at 4. So you can easily determine whether there's any conflicts with regarding to rooms. And, um, and it makes a very good utility, particularly for your custodians or those who are doing room setups, uh, some of your staff, uh, to know when, when these things, when these rooms need to be set up. And so it's a, a, a real uh, good utility to have in, in managing your church. Also, um, as I mentioned before, you not only have the ability to add rooms now to a given event or meeting, but you can also have the ability to manage re church resources as well. Similar to the rooms, you give the name and a description. 
you have the edit and delete capability. The add new item is simply the same as, as that of a, a room. Uh, but notice some of the things that I've chosen here uh, in the uh, indicate in audio booths, uh, AV carts, uh, what's on the AV cart, you know, it's uh, the size of an, uh, a uh, TV or uh, what recording or playback utilities that you have. Uh, folding chairs, uh, whether it's just a quantity of 50, put them in different quantities. Uh, you can also not only use it as a means by which to uh, uh, manage your church resources as far as utilities, um, or equipment, but also perhaps uh, greeter teams or or parking attendants, uh, that type of thing, or um, additional uh, fun machines like a popcorn machine. Um, and uh, many churches loan out their tables, and you can have a uh, resource of um, one table as opposed to uh, uh, a bunch of tables. And so there's a lot of things you can do to bring, uh, to enhance uh, your understanding of what it's gonna take to, to accomplish a particular event or a meeting, and also to be able to manage resources. And again, if you go to your, your, your calendar and go to church resources, you'll notice that the resources will be listed here on the day view. You can go in and see who's gonna be using the AV cart, uh, folding chairs or whatever and it's again a great utility for your custodian or for those that are helping in and managing those services and and knowing where uh, who had them last and that type of thing so so that's available in in your admin section and uh, and those calendars are available in your calendar section now also we we've, we've updated managed services now uh, before you are allowed the ability to post a service and a time and put in a description. But in our new uh, managed services, you're able to add uh, the service to your calendar simply by clicking this button. And then when you update it, it will update all the occurrence of your calendar with all the occurrences of that, of that new service which is added. And so that makes it very, uh, very fast. Uh, no longer do you have to go create a service and then go to a calendar to add it. Uh, you can do it all in this one utility. Now, to post uh, events and meetings to a calendar has also been greatly simplified. All you do is go to your church calendar or events calendar, any one of these calendars, and, and uh, you'll, uh, you'll have a selection between a day calendar, uh, which is what has been posted to the dashboard, also a week calendar, and uh, a month calendar, and also there is a timeline calendar. Now, um, any of these calendars can be exported to PDF in a, in, in a print mode, uh, and you can do whatever you want with that PDF, like uh, pu putting it in a MailChimp newsletter or, or, uh, or posting it, uh, um, uh, uh, printing it off and posting it in, in the classrooms and so forth. You can also export to a new format called iCalendar, which is one of the most popular formats to export your calendar information to and when you export it um, you will be able to you can place it into a Google calendar into an Outlook calendar or an Apple calendar uh, Microsoft's calendar any one of those uh, uh, accepts iCalendar uh, exported data and so let's go ahead and take a look at the the, um, the uh, a weekly view of a calendar um, to add something to the calendar is very simple now. All you have to do is go to the time, uh, cl double click it, uh, and you can enter right here um, uh, the, um, um, the um, item that you would like. Uh, and, um, and if you want, you can save it, and it'll just save it simply as that. Uh, given the time frame, or if you want to, you can go to options and you can add a lot more to to that. Uh, you can increase the time here. You can also, we our system now has alerts, so you can put a 30-minute alert on it, letting you know that in 30 minutes, uh, uh, within 30 minutes of this meeting, uh, prior to this meeting, uh, you'll be alerted uh, by our calendar program that um, uh, there is an upcoming meeting that you need to attend. Uh, you can also sign, as before, a ministry to this, and so we can put our staff leadership team as part of that. We can, uh, we can assign to a particular uh, um, 
calendar as well. We're going to add it to the meeting calendar. Uh, we can also uh, indicate what room we're going to use uh, to, to meet in. We're going to use the boardroom for this particular event. And the church resources, we're going to use the AV cart number one. And we can give further description of it. Um, we'll, um, um, Our program also uh, contains uh, uh, one additional feature, which I know many of you appreciate, and that is the ability to add an item, say that you want to do on the um, the third um, um, the third day, um, say on a, a Tuesday of every month, and you don't want an end date. Um, no longer are you held to 56 occurrences. If you want to, you can put it out as as far as you view your calendars. And so once you say this, it will uh, then place it in your calendar and you can go out to the year 2014 or whatever and uh, you'll still see that um, scheduled there. So here is the, the, the home groups here, the Smith Home Group. Um, and um, and uh, you can just continue to just uh, schedule that out as far as you want. And so <clears throat> Those are the new features that have been added. And again, I'd like to encourage you that if uh, uh, you'd like to post your um, calendar to your church's website, you can do that by just simply going to admin and go to the website plugins. And uh, it will allow you to generate the code, the HTML code that's needed uh, for your website master to be able to embed the calendar or to um, post it as a new window uh, um, that pops up uh, with your calendar in it. Uh, also, attendance has been simplified and uh, we have basically taken the utility that we had in our child check-in system and our check-in system and we now have it available in the main program here. So all you need to do is uh, indicate whether it's an event or a meeting and the, the date uh, for attendance and when you click this button here it will give you uh, if it's a meeting uh, it'll give you all the various um, um, events or, or meetings that you've already posted and you just simply click the meeting if it's a men's breakfast you can click the men's breakfast if you want to you can just select just the, the men in your church and, uh, and when you click show individuals it will, it will post your um, it will exclude all the women from this list and allowing you an easier selection. And of course, you can do that by gender. You can also do it by ministries. You can do it by marital status or filter by member type, age category, or whatever you want. And also, if it's tied with a specific ministry, you can also choose uh, just the ministry members themselves. And uh, again, it becomes a very quick utility uh, to be able to select people uh, in attendance and to do that just click here and that's all it's done you don't need to save it any further um, it automatically assigns that uh, these people to having attended that that um, meeting for that day and that's all there is to our new calendar it's it is a tremendous utility uh, we're very thrilled about making this available and also appreciative of all our clients and their uh, the input that you've given over um, this past year in terms of wanting to, uh, to see some of these features that have just been added to your program. Thank you again, and remember that if you have any questions or uh, feedback or support needs, go click this button here, and it will activate your uh, feedback and support uh, utility, which allows you to enter whatever question you have or whatever suggestion you might have, and that will come to our attention. Again, thank you, and have a good day.